Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, April 26, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Ten of Swords, or the Ten of Air, from the Herb Crafters Tarot, which is available through U.S. Game Systems. First, I want to say full moon blessings to everyone, and if you want to listen to this in its entirety, you can go to Podbean, YouTube, or Instagram and hear all of it or any of your favorite podcast providers it's available everywhere now the full moon it is in the intense sign of scorpio happening at seven degrees this is our first super moon of the year making an already intense full moon feel even more so <sighs> okay now here's the thing in the sky with the planets right you know they have different angles to each other and everything and at the time of this full moon uranus which is the planet of shock and surprise i always called it the hold my beer planet because it has its own way of doing things that you would never ever guess like i can top that no matter what you think you can do and uranus is sitting opposite this full moon okay <sighs> there may be things that come up which are so out of left field and you know this is actually when i saw this card here i was like wow this is the perfect card and for two different reasons all right we'll talk about the the one we don't like first and that's the stress associated with this card okay when you just kind of go it's like a big splat all right where you just kind of conk out and of course the only way to go when you you know when you go splat or you hit rock bottom is up okay and that is what scorpio is best at so it it can be painful in a sense you know the stressful parts of it but scorpio is all about that death and rebirth and it's majorly transformative there is a lot of very powerful energy that's going on right now as, as this full moon is happening it's in the u.s it's on the 26th if you live elsewhere it's probably on your calendar as the 27th but here on the calendar in the u.s we also have pluto breaking our retrograde free zone and going retrograde on the 27th now pluto is scorpio's ruler okay so boy that's like right there right there with that full moon i'm telling you and yes some people will feel it more than others it may be the most <laughs> mondayest of mondays ever you know at least for this year because it's just kind of like ah like that, that pull your hair out kind of thing but this is also a card of recovery and it's saying that you know it is time right you can resurface you can regroup you can recover and you can move forward so there's a lot of release that's happening at this full moon but there's so much more uh, the intensity of it considering what's going on here with this week with this full moon and then given the fact that in two weeks we will have a new moon in taurus which kicks off the first eclipse season of this year um and also at that time we see mercury entering its shadow period so mercury is going to be retrograde during the eclipse season uh-huh yeah no my feeling is is that like as we're hitting this full moon and i do have full moon guidance that you can listen to you know it, it is sometimes important to get the whole picture of everything and that's available on patreon or on my website tarotbycecilia.com or if you go to facebook and click on use app at the uh, members only area that i have there so yeah it's a doozy i don't know how else to put it which is why i'm thinking that from this point until the eclipse season ends which is at the full moon of capricorn happening in july yeah all right <laughs> like say what yeah so there's a lot that's going on and a lot of change that lies ahead and it may not be you know the smoothest of roads it may be a little bit bumpy and i don't think that you can say to yourself um you know well i know what's going to happen this is what i'm going to do blah 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 you know, I, I know people who do that and 
when it doesn't work out that way they can never understand but what I do advise here is that you get all of your ducks in a row and know what you intend to accomplish between now and the middle of July all right I think that's going to be very key you want to be able to get to the other side of everything that's coming without having a lot of fallout because this card is kind of like the fallout you know what I'm saying you coasting along just flying along a bit drop right out of the sky nah it's yeah <laughs> I don't think that everyone is going to feel it in a stressful way I think that there's some therapeutic benefits that are here you know in the transformative realm but yeah it's it's a doozy and like I said I don't think I could find a much more you know appropriate card unless we saw the death card show up honestly and that's a card that I, I love to see I wish it did come up for this full moon but this one kind of gives that that vibe because Uranus can make things a little stressful because you didn't anticipate them it could be the simplest of things but it can throw you off so you know just kind of try to roll with it and you know just know that everything is moving you in a direction even though you can't see exactly what it is i want to thank you all very much for being here i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day